We're going to be making an Alka Seltzer bomb, pretty much. I guess so. And we're using a film container. Um, Two Alka Seltzers. That you need to crush. Um, you open the package and put them inside the container. Now let's get a close up when you're done of the stuff in the container. Then just add water and half, back up half for safety. Half of the container. You fill half of the container up with water, which is two ounces of water. Back up for safety. Holy crap! Let's do it again. Here, get the get the. I get think the. only one tablet from now on. Oh, you think there's enough to make it? Again. Turn it over this time. This one takes off. That is cool. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to test in one of these glad bottles. Again, push up the Alka Seltzer. <laughs> so what happens when that stuff fizzles inside inside the container? I think air is released. And actually gas builds up into the container which makes the lid pop up. I've gotten that. We're getting a scientific explanation of grace. Now we're going to try it in this little cup. We're going to be putting a balloon on top to see if it'll blow up the balloon. And what's your strategy on the... Uh this one, only put one in this one. Okay. Only put one. Save it for another. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. And you're putting it in the water in the balloon, in the remember? Balloon. Yeah, you put the water in the balloon. Just a, a little. Wait, here. Okay. A funnel would work better if you want to avoid mess. A little bit more. Might be a little slippery. A lot slippery. We have to tape this. Mm. Here, I'll a little bit.
And then Kenny's idea was let the water go in there now. Now back up. No, I got you. Back up. Ow! Oh, that hurts. It's working. That'll make this film on YouTube. Daddy gets hurt filming. Ouch, that really hurt. So we couldn't blow it up to beyond the ability of the balloon to stay around the bottle, right? Well, I let go. I was uh. holding it on. Grace, hold the thing down. Hold the thing down. Hold the thing down. So what what build up, Grace? The gas and the air pressure. What happened? It made the balloon pop out because the gas travels to the balloon and puts air pressure into it, which makes the balloon pop out. What else popped off today in these experiments? Lids. And why did they pop off? Because of air pressure and gas. And where'd the gas come from? The Alka-Seltzers and the water. Mixed together. Back up. Did you put it on the lid? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think for the classroom, you guys should do one Alka-Seltzer in, in that. You can put two in the Tupperware one if you're going to do it. And I don't think you should do the balloon one. Okay, I don't want you holding it. Fine. All right, fine. It's like a gun. It's like a party popper. <laughs> Okay, we're doing our last experiment with our last seltzers. Just break them up right now. We're going to see how high it goes. Um, right side up or upside down? I put the lid down. Cap it up and go put it down by the bricks. So it went much higher the second time, didn't it? That's because I flipped it off. Oh. Now try throwing it up. Jeez. Popped in your hand? Yeah. Smell that fish Did it feel like it could hurt you? Yeah, with a huh? With a newer Alka Seltzer. Bye bye. Okay. Get away from it, Kenny. Do not light it. I'm not. 